Hello everyone, this is Neon. Welcome to Impromptu English with Neon. Today I'm going to talk you guys through a simple, a very, very basic and simple listening test in English. So, most universities have English courses where you have to prove that you have a basic level of proficiency in English. Alright, so of course, if you want to do the IELTS, there will be a listening module in the IELTS. So we have reading, writing, listening and speaking. And listening is one of the four IELTS tests, right? It's, it's one of the four parts. So listening is very important. We listen every single day and at least we should listen to English every single day if we want to improve our English. So if you want, I will upload another video on how you can, what things you can do to improve your listening but for now this video is on how to tackle a real english listening test so i will actually play an audio clip a listening tape and then we will try to go through the answers one by one so there are there are two main questions five parts of each question a to e so we will answer these 10 questions and the thing is that both these questions are from the same audio clip okay so the difficult thing here is that we have to consider both number one and number two at the same time so when the audio clip plays don't just think about one a and then one b and then one c not like this you also have to look at question number two Okay, so they are parallel. It's not like after you are done it with 1A to E, then you will start thinking about 2A to E. No, you have to consider 1 and 2 parallelly. Alright? So, at first, the very important thing is to look at all the questions. Let's take a look. Whose friend is very tall, though she is quite small? Why do Shona and Kirsty talk on the phone all the time? How many years ago did Do Dominic and Zami meet? Which friend of Michael's is forgetful of his house keys? What does Rihanna consider Caleb to be to her? Then there are some fill in the blanks. The teacher asked Shona to dash after Kirsty. Shona and Kirsty live in different dash. The name of Sam's dog is Dash. Azam is an international dash. On the dash, Brianna and Caleb surf the internet or go to the music store. All right, so we've looked at the questions now i can play the audio clip again i'm repeating that we have to look at both the questions number one and two parallelly side by side okay so that's why i've written them in the same on the same page okay let's start tape script 1.5 best friends shona i have three or four good friends but I think my best friend is Kirsty. We first met when we... Okay, so did you notice the names? Kirsty, right? And then at the very beginning, another friend's name, another person's name was said. So let's rewind a bit. Tape script 1.5. Best friends. Shona. So Shona is going to speak and she is going to speak about her best friend, Kirsty. I have three or four good friends. But I think my best friend is Kirsty. We first met when we were 12. She started at my school and the teacher asked me to look after her. Do what? The teacher asked Shona to do what? Started at my school and the teacher asked me to look after her. To look after her, right? To, the teacher asked Shona to look after Kirsty. So you have to understand what looking after means. It means to take care or it means to make sure that Kirsty is fine. In Bangla we say to dekhe rakha, right? So let's resume the audio clip. We soon became friends. We looked quite funny together. She's very tall and I'm quite small. Okay, so we already got the answer to 2A but we haven't got the answer to 1A yet, so I think we got the answer now. Let's rewind it a bit again. She's very tall and I'm quite small. 
Because we grew up together. Okay, so who is very tall, though someone else is quite small? Is it Shona or Kirsty? Is the answer Shona or is the answer Kirsty? Look at the question again. Whose friend? So Shona was speaking and she was speaking about Kirsty. Kirsty is very tall. So is the answer Kirsty? Wrong. Because the question says whose friend is very tall, not who is very tall. So the answer should be whose friend? It's Shona's friend. Shona's friend, Kirsty. Okay. We know everything about each other. So, Kirsty knows me better than anyone else. I can always talk to her about my problems. She always listens and then gives me good advice. Okay, so why do Shona and Kirsty talk on the phone all the time? It could be that Kirsty listens. Kirsty always listens and gives good advice, right? It can be one answer, but let's let's not write it yet. Or maybe let's write it, but then we can we can revise the answer, right? Kirsty always listens and gives good advice. That can be one answer. Let's see. I hope I do the same for her. We are both married now and uh, we live quite near each other, okay, but in different towns. Different what? We different? Quite near each other, but in different towns but in different towns so they do not live in the same town they live in different towns we got two b before one c or even one b maybe we talk on the phone all the time okay especially now because we're both having a baby this summer all right so i think we got our answer to question one b near each other but in different towns we talk on the phone all the time Especially now, because we're both having a baby this summer. Okay, so they talk on the phone all the time for many reasons. Because they have been childhood friends, because Kirsty is kind, she talks and gives advice, she talks all the time. But especially, they talk on the phone especially all the time because they are both pregnant. That's the main reason, right? So it should be they are both having a baby or they are both pregnant. Alright, so we got four questions already. Six remain. Dominic. My best friend is called Sammy. Okay, so now Kirsty and Shona, their part is over. Now Dominic is going to talk about his best friend who is called what? On the phone all the time, especially now because we are both having a baby this summer. Dominic. My best friend is called Sammy, and he often comes to play at my house after school. A long time ago, uh, when I was four, uh, we, we went to Busy Bee Nursery School together. Okay, so is the answer four? Sammy said that he was when he was four, he and Dominic went to a school together. But the question is how many years ago? It's not like when, how old was Dominic, but how many years ago? Okay. Me and Sammy are both six now. I like him because he's funny and... Okay, so they are six years old now. And when did, did they go to school together? When they were four. So the answer is two years ago, right? Two. Let's confirm this. My best friend is called Sammy. And he often comes to play at my house after school. A long time ago, uh, when I was four... Four years uh, old. We, we went to... Busy Bee Nursery School together. Me and Sammy are both six now. They're six now. I so like two him years ago. he's funny and he plays football. I like going to play at his house too. He's got a big garden and a nice dog called King. Called King, right? His, go his dog is called what? King. His dog's name is King. Alright, so we got six questions already. Michael. I have two very good friends from university. Okay, so Michael has two very good friends from university. So the question is, which friend of Michael's is forgetful of his house, fee, house keys? So one of the two good friends of Michael, so one of them 
is very forgetful of his house keys. He tends to forget where he put his house keys. So we have to identify which of the friend it is, which of the friends it is. And also look at question number D. Azam is an international dash. It could be that Azam is a friend of Michael's, right? It could be. Called Dave and Azam. Yes, so Michael's two friends. Names are Dave and Azam. It's got a big garden and a nice dog called King. Michael. So it can be either Dave I or Azam. I have two very good friends from university called Dave and Azam. We stayed in the same house near the university. I don't know why we became friends. We were all very different. Dave was very quiet and always worked hard. And Azam was, well, a bit crazy. He never remembered his house keys. So the answer is Azam. He climbed in through the window at least once a week. He loved cooking Indian food and having parties. We had parties all the time in our house. Now, of course, life is very different. Dave is a writer and lives in France. He sends me long, funny emails every month. Azam is an international lawyer. What is Azam now? Every month. Azam is an international lawyer. Lawyer. He's working in Hong Kong at the moment. But we still meet once a year with our families. We usually meet at Dave's house in France and have a holiday together. Brianna. Okay, finally, two questions My remain. best friend is my neighbor, Caleb. He's 16. Our moms are good friends, and I call Caleb's mom, Auntie Janine. We grew up together. When we were kids, we always liked the same games. Now we're into the same music. Weekends, we usually go on the internet, or sometimes we go downtown to the music stores to listen to our favorite artists. Okay, so we got the answer. Caleb's mom, Auntie Janine. We grew up together. When we were kids, we always liked the same games. Now we're into the same music. Weekends, we usually go on the... Weekends, right? What is weekends? Holidays, right? On the weekends, on the holidays, they go to the int music store or they serve the internet. The internet, or sometimes we go downtown to the music stores to listen to our favorite artists. Caleb's cool. He's like a brother to me. Okay, so we also got the final answer as well. At the very end. Tape script? It's cool. He's like a brother to me. He's like a what? Or sometimes we go downtown to the music stores to listen to our favorite artists. Caleb's cool. He's like a brother to me. A brother, right? The answer is a brother. So Brianna considers Caleb to be her brother. To be like her brother. So that's it. So what did we do? We looked at the questions very carefully and we looked at both question number one and question number two. So these are very easy answers. These are very simple and basic listening questions, but you have to be very focused. You have to concentrate, right? Otherwise, uh, you may be lost in one question and the other questions answer may have already passed you by and you maybe didn't even notice right that may happen so it's very important it's crucial that you look at the questions very carefully in any type of listening test in the IELTS of course you have to look at the questions very carefully sometimes it have even happens to me that another questions answer is given but I'm still stuck on the previous question so you have to be on your guard so that's the video guys hope you like the video hope you got something out of the video hope you learned something and if you want more difficult tests or maybe even IELTS listening test videos like this so please drop by in the comments and hope you will stay with me on my journey to become more fluent in English